Dave, right now the shuttle is at 23,000 feet. It's coming into Edwards Air Force Base. We had expected uh, earlier that the shuttle was going to be landing at Kennedy Air Force Base, or rather Kennedy Space Center, but clouds and weather in the area caused a problem. Now you can see these were some of the jets. This is just a few moments ago. Some of the, the firing reaction jets as the shuttle was making its way in. The shuttle is now at 19,000 feet. It's coming into Edwards Air Force Base. It's going to be landing on the concrete runway there. Everything has been going smoothly. Commander J.O. Creighton is at the uh, control of the shuttle. Mission Control is saying it's just a running, coming in a little bit low. That's not unusual. The last minute adjustments as it comes in. We're only about a minute away from the uh, touchdown. This is the landing site at Edwards Air Force Base. As I say, this is, is less risky, is the, the phrase that NASA likes to use, less risky than landing at the Kennedy Space Center. This is the place that they have had night landings uh, before. They've had several night landings. There is a map view of the, uh, the runway there. It is a 2.8 plus mile concrete runway that the shuttle is coming in on. The, uh, the shuttle comes in on that runway uh, or a dry lake bed, which is a, a bigger area, but on a nighttime landing, uh, one of the things that they like to do is, uh, is land on, on the concrete runway. The mission itself has gone very smoothly. The changes caused by the, the shift from Kennedy uh, Space Center to Edwards Air Force Base have been happening very quickly. There you can see a, a shot, a live shot of the shuttle coming in. Let's listen in to mission control as the shuttle comes in. Live shot from NASA. This, the problems you're seeing, the, the uh, problems with the set is, is part of the transmission problems. There have been some last minute adjustments as NASA raced to, to get set up at Edwards Air Force Base, but you can clearly see the shuttle coming in just about to land. Gear down and lock. mission and the 43rd in the space shuttle program. So Discovery has come back to Earth. Discovery has landed at Edwards Air Force Base. This is an infrared picture. They, you can tell the base of the, uh, the shuttle where it is lighter. That's because it is so hot. The shuttle coming in uh, heats up the, the tiles on the bottom, taking the brunt of the heat as it uh, comes in. As, Shuttle successfully landed at Edwards Air Force Base, the end of the 43rd shuttle mission, the fifth shuttle mission of this year. Now the uh, shuttle Discovery will be ferried back to the Kennedy Space Center. Its next mission is sent for early next year. The next shuttle mission is a Defense Department mission that comes up in December.